Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Today, we're going to look at something special. Let's unveil it now. So, I want to thank SterlingKit.com and Jamar Engines for producing such a beautiful specimen. This thing is just... It's just amazing. I spent over 50 hours on this thing this week just playing with it, testing it, uh, tearing it apart, looking inside it. Um, it has fully, true, adjustable rocker arms. Um, it has a complete, fully uh, wet sump oiling system that runs up and actually comes through the valve covers here with these two little holes here and actually in, it individually oils each and every rocker arm as it rolls down, goes down the chutes. There's actually holes in the head for blow-by to keep keep the engine pressure down. And when you look at the little um, oil cap here, it, there's one on each valve cover. They have a little vent in there to you know to keep the internal pressures from you know coming too too uh, large. Um, it has a really awesome um, external water pump here that puts out some serious volume, serious volume. Um, Twin carbs runs on gas. Um, you know, you put your oil in here. You got your gas there, and you put antifreeze in it, just like a real engine. Um, this is probably one of the best engines I've ever seen in my life. This brought the hobby engine category to a whole new level. I mean, just a whole new level. Uh, we've had nitro engines all our lives, all this stuff, and we, you know. We're limited to certain gas engines out there, okay? I'll upload the pictures of what I tore apart so you guys can see the details inside the engine. I did put up a sneak peek video on my community page and Facebook of some of the photos of the engine itself. It's got huge runners inside this thing, massive. <clears throat> and uh, it's just, uh, it's just, it's the best of the best, I'm telling you. I've never seen anything like this in my life, and you know, I, I had, uh, I was blessed with the chance to test this engine and rip it apart, and, and you know, give you guys my view on this engine, and I'll put it this way, buy one, buy one, because this is definitely on my list. Um, this is an engineering mule, a test mule, okay? This engine here has been tested and tested and tested. Um, and it was sent to me to be tested again, and I, you know, I fire it up, and it fires up every single time. It just, uh, and it just like smooth as silk. It's just amazing. I, I've never, I mean, I, there's nothing on this engine that I do not like. Nothing. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just totally, everything has been thought through three times before it was made, and, uh, it's just uh, it's a work of art, is what it is. And I fell in love with this thing as soon as it fired up, and then I got a chance to tear it down and actually look at it. And it's just it's serviceable. It's just uh, it's just a no-brainer. It's a win-win with this engine. So, engine more, thank you. I take my hat off to you, Sterling Kit. Thank you for your uh, your beliefs in you know my engineering tactics. Now, I, I went through a, another um, <clears throat> situation where I said, hey, you know what? This thing is 78 cc's. 78. I'm going to put it down on the hand. 78 cc's. And um, it revs like bang, bang, bang. When you, when you crack the throttle, this thing just revs right now. And it breathes very well from the intake manifold. <clears throat> if you see, it's got like the air gap intake manifold in here that keeps the air cool gasoline cool and it comes into these really nice well-tuned exhaust manifolds like this thing breathes very well with just these log manifolds and these remind me of the old Chrysler Hemis and uh, big block Chevys um, you know those things put out some massive horsepower with just manifolds now all you gotta do is add a high quality fuel gasoline I would do premium um, you put in your oil and the oil I ran was the race oil for 
you know, um, it has a high zinc content in it because I did not want to harm the engine because this is have to go back to those guys. Um, but the thing is, when you put the oil in it, the oil comes through the pan, through this filter down here, then back into the pump. Up the block, you see these little veins that are, they put in the block there, and you see these set screws here on the valve covers. It pumps the oil up here, through this, sprays on each individual rocker arm, and then there are return holes, top and bottom, that bring the oil back down, and it, the vortex of the crankshaft just sucks it up. And the rod design in this was was very, very unique. I, I looked at it, and it was like, it was a really good idea. Um, every other rod, you have staggered rods in this thing, okay? Um, every other one has a fork rod, and then there's a, a, a single rod that goes in between the forks. And it keeps everything balanced. It keeps everything like in place. Um, it's just, uh, I just, you know, it's just awesome. I'll put it that way. With, um, it's got a brush and starter system on the thing. So bang, you hit that thing, it starts right now. And, you know, it just comes to life and, and wants to go, you know. So I highly suggest, highly, of all the engines that are out there, if you have a chance to get one of these, get one I, I'm just like blown away I don't know what to say it's beautiful you know it's like it's probably one of the most beautiful RC engines I've ever seen in my life you can use that as a display you can put it in a quarter scale car it has a nice little air cleaner on the top here with a filter inside it um, and it's just uh, you know and if you look at the front it's got these massive teeth on these belts here it, they were they're not the little two millimeter belts that we've been used to before with the that strip out these are these are serious business here this thing fires up and it runs and it stays in tune you're gonna see a lot more of these on my channel um, they're not you know they're not a, uh, a seat of the pants built there was so much engineering that went into this engine and when you see something like this you know the final product is going to be top notch. So, put this on your list, guys. I guarantee you, you, you won't you won't be disappointed. You will not. Um, I'm going to put up a run video at the end here. So, we're going to go through the parts first, and then we'll do the run video. So, stay tuned. Hey, before we get into the internals of the engine, I did a lot of math there the last couple of days on this engine now I mentioned it was a 78 cc engine okay now when you break down 78 cc's into cubic inches it comes up to 4.75985 so this is really a 4.76 cubic inch engine so a 4.76 cubic inches that's pretty that's pretty huge that's awesome I like this already now they have three different categories and like they have an engineering standard for your um, small engine and they rate them in three different categories uh, one is motorcycle chainsaw and industrial now motorcycle we know most of those are two stroke a lot of four strokes out there uh, chainsaws most of those are two strokes um, they didn't really have a like a weed whacker um, category and the industrial engine we know that just runs at a constant RPM it's like a pump engine or uh, you know it's a it's a working engine that's all it does um, they run generators and whatnot so the motorcycle engine is let me see horsepower would be 6 to 10 horsepower and then they do have a category that's 8 to 13 horsepower for a motorcycle. The chainsaw is 6 to 7 horsepower, but it also comes up to 11 to 14. Now, the industrial pump engine is only 5.2 horsepower across the board, you know, where this has twin overhead cams. It has roller rockers. It has a complete oiling system inside. 
It has twin carbs. It runs on premium gas. Um, it, it's like a um, it's it's like a race engine, you know, that was just offered to us here. It has a complete, really nice CDI ignition system that runs on 12 volts. It runs off this little unit right here, um, and the distributor cap, the wires, the just the quality of the distributor is amazing. And I will put a picture right now of the parts that are involved in this that I got to tear down and look at. Um, I would like to thank Sterling Kit um, and Ingemore Engines for the V8, you know, G52 version. Uh, this is a test engine. This engine has been tested uh, several times everywhere. Um, my view on this engine, amazing. Um, I'm thinking it's around 10 horsepower on the averages of all the uh, engineering specs that they have out there. I have no way to test the horsepower or the torque range on this, but um, it's just, uh, the quality is just amazing, you know. Now, I have ran this engine. It was well engineered. Um, you got your water pump out here, which is away from the engine, okay? So it brings the water or antifreeze through the engine, through the pump, and then back to here. Now, this thing only got lukewarm, lukewarm. And, uh, and I have put a lot of time in running this thing. It's an engineering marvel. There's, <clears throat> I've looked this engine over several times and I don't know it, it just blows me away with the quality and the thinking they put into this engine was it just uh, you know hats off to engine more engines you know and thank you Sterling Kit again for letting me uh, test this engine and bring such a beautiful specimen to my subscribers I mean everybody in the world needs to see this engine they need to see this um, it's just a work of art. So, so anyways, let's get to the pictures now, and I'll, I'll show you the the valve train. Um, and I already went through how it oils itself. Comes up here, down, spins in the vortex. Um, it, uh, it does not have an oiling problem whatsoever. Um, the crankshaft is five mains on the crankshaft. That's really supported strong. Um, the camshafts on this thing roll through they got spacers on them they got fully adjustable you know your rocker arms are fully adjustable um, everything on this engine is fully maintainable um, you know right down to you know your oil filter you know I imagine they're gonna probably have a filter for this thing to change it out and um, I just uh, <laughs> Let's look at the pictures, guys. That's all I can say. Um, I'll put some footnotes down there um, on the on the pictures to kind of explain what's going on through each photograph. And uh, let me know what you think. You know, put your questions, comments, you know, down below. Because, um, and if you contact Sterling Kid or if you work with them, let them know what you think of this engine. Because... I guarantee you will not be disappointed, not. You will love this, you know. Thank <laughs> you.